Welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to rename multiple objects at once. Let's get started. I have this scene opened with a bunch of simple star models. But if you take a look at the outliner you can see that they are all called cube because that's what I originally modeled them from. To fix this we could go through all of them, double click and rename to star. However, this would take way too much of our valuable time and there is a much faster solution that I'm going to show you right now. We want to use the batch rename feature that was introduced to Blender in the version 2.81. To access it, go to edit, batch rename or directly use the shortcut control F2. This menu allows us to rename multiple objects at once. First we can choose the data type. Per default this is set to objects which is exactly what we want. You could change this to something else if you want to limit the renaming to a specific data type. For example materials or armatures. Since we don't have all the stars selected we need to change this to all. Next we have the find and replace options. We want to find the word cube and replace it with star. When I now press OK you can see in the outliner that the word cube in every object's name was replaced by star. As expected the plane wasn't affected since it doesn't have the word cube in its name. This is already much better, but we want more. The small stars should have different names than the big ones. To do so, select all the small stars by holding down shift and left clicking on them. Then reopen the batch rename options with the shortcut Control F2. This time we want to affect only the selected objects. And instead of find and replace, we are going to use set name. Change the method to prefix and for the name type in small. When I now press OK, this adds the word small in front of all the selected objects. Now the numbers at the end of each name are messed up. But again, we can use the batch rename to fix this. Switch it back to all and this time we are going to use strip characters. This can be used to remove spaces, digits and punctuation at the start and the end of each name. In this case we want to remove digits and punctuation at the end. Hold down shift and left click to select multiple options. When I press OK this will remove the dot and the numbers at the end of each name. Blender will directly add in new numbers since it is not possible to have more than one object with the same name. But this time the numbers are correct. The fourth rename option is change case and it does exactly what the name suggests. I can use this to quickly make all the letters uppercase. Here's another example that I would like to show you. In this scene I have UV spheres and icospheres and I would like to rename all the UV spheres. To do so I use the technique that I showed you before and press Ctrl F2 to open the batch rename. I change this to all, search for sphere and replace it with planet. When I do so, you can see that we get a problem. Not only does it rename the UV spheres, but also the sphere in Icosphere. Let's go back with Ctrl C and try it one more time. But this time I'm going to check case sensitive. This will make sure that sphere is only replaced if the S is capital. So now you can see that all the UV spheres are renamed but the icosphere is not affected. Let's go back one more time so I can show you another feature. 
If you press this little plus button, you can stack multiple rename operations. For example, we could use the first one to rename the UV spheres. The second one for the icospheres. And the third one to add a prefix. When I now press OK, it will do all those operations in one go. There is one last feature that I would like to demonstrate. If you press this little star next to the find and replace options, you can use regular expressions. Regular expressions are sequences of characters that can be used to search for specific patterns. This allows you to make much more complex name replacements. To demonstrate this, I wrote a short expression to rename each object that has a prefix. Don't worry if you don't know anything about regular expressions. Neither did I before I did research for this tutorial. Watch this video by Corey Schafer to learn everything you need to know. It is about 40 minutes long and you'll learn all the essentials about regular expressions in a very comprehensive way. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if this tutorial was useful to you. I am Nick from Blender Daily, see you in the next one.